The biology of sexual function is a fascinating and complex area of study. Two processes in particular, erection and ejaculation, are fundamental to male sexual experience. Understanding these processes is crucial not only for medical professionals, but also for anyone seeking to understand the complexities of human sexuality. This essay will delve into the physiological mechanisms underlying erection and ejaculation, highlighting the roles of different nervous systems and neurochemicals. Erection, the firming and enlargement of the penis, is the first stage in the male sexual response cycle. This process is a complex interplay of psychological, neural, vascular, and hormonal factors. It begins with sexual arousal, which can be triggered by a variety of stimuli, including physical touch, visual cues, or even thoughts and fantasies. This process is primarily driven by the parasympathetic nervous system, often referred to as the rest and digest system. The parasympathetic nervous system plays a crucial role in initiating and maintaining an erection by promoting relaxation and blood flow to the genital area. When a man becomes sexually aroused, whether through physical stimulation, visual cues, or even thoughts, nerve signals are transmitted from the brain to the penis. These signals travel through the spinal cord and pelvic nerves, ultimately reaching the blood vessels and smooth muscles in the penis. These signals trigger the release of nitric oxide, a molecule that relaxes the smooth muscles within the corpora cavernosa, two sponge-like chambers running the length of the penis. Nitric oxide is a key mediator in the process of achieving and maintaining an erection. As these muscles relax, the arteries supplying blood to the corpora cavernosa dilate, allowing a surge of blood to flow into these spaces. This dilation is essential for the engorgement of the penis, leading to its firm and erect state. This increased blood flow is what causes the penis to expand and become erect. The pressure of the blood being trapped in the corpora cavernosa is what maintains the erection, allowing for sexual intercourse. The entire process is a remarkable example of the body's ability to coordinate multiple systems to achieve a single function. While the influx of blood into the corpora cavernosa is essential for achieving an erection, another mechanism is crucial for maintaining it. The veno-occlusive mechanism. This mechanism ensures that the blood remains trapped within the penis, allowing it to stay firm and erect. Without this, the blood would simply flow back out, and the erection would be lost prematurely. As the corpora cavernosa fill with blood and the penis expands, it compresses the veins that normally drain blood from the penis. This compression is a critical part of the process, as it effectively seals off the exit routes for the blood, ensuring that it stays within the penis. This compression restricts the outflow of blood, trapping it within the corpora cavernosa and sustaining the erection. By preventing the blood from leaving, the penis remains engorged and firm, which is necessary for sexual activity. The effectiveness of the veno-occlusive mechanism is essential for maintaining an erection long enough for sexual intercourse. If this mechanism fails, it can lead to erectile dysfunction, where the penis cannot stay erect. Understanding this process is crucial for addressing and treating such conditions. Section 4. Transitioning to Ejaculation While the parasympathetic nervous system dominates during erection, the sympathetic nervous system, often associated with the fight or flight response, takes center stage during ejaculation. As sexual stimulation intensifies, the balance of nervous system activity shifts. The sympathetic nervous system kicks in, triggering a cascade of physiological events that culminate in ejaculation. This transition from parasympathetic to sympathetic dominance is a finely tuned process, essential for successful reproduction. Section 5. The Two Phases of Ejaculation This section delves into the intricate process of ejaculation, which is a complex and fascinating phenomenon. Ejaculation itself is not a single event, but rather a two-phase process, emission and expulsion. Understanding these phases can provide deeper insights into male reproductive health. Emission is the first phase, during which sperm cells are transported from the testes and epididymis, where they are stored to the prostatic urethra. This journey is crucial for the preparation of semen. Simultaneously, fluids are secreted from the seminal vesicles and prostate gland, contributing to the volume and composition of semen. These fluids provide the necessary environment for sperm to survive and function, 
These components mix in the prostatic urethra, ready to be expelled. This mixture forms what we commonly refer to as semen. The expulsion phase follows, characterized by rhythmic contractions of the pelvic floor muscles and the muscles surrounding the base of the penis. These contractions are essential for the forceful ejection of semen. These powerful contractions propel the semen out of the urethra in a series of spurts. This process ensures that semen is effectively delivered outside the body. The sensation associated with these contractions is typically pleasurable and often described as climactic. This pleasurable sensation is a key aspect of the sexual experience. Section 6. Conclusion. The interplay of body and mind. Erection and ejaculation, though distinct physiological processes, are often intertwined in the context of sexual activity. Understanding these processes, from the intricate interplay of nervous systems to the specific roles of muscles and blood vessels, provides valuable insights into male sexual function. It's important to remember that sexual response is not solely a physical phenomenon. Psychological factors such as stress, anxiety, and relationship dynamics can significantly influence both erection and ejaculation.